Hello there. So you're stuck at home, but do not worry. There are still loads of epic things you can do. You can become a cool chef, a magician, a dancer, or do any of these fantastic skills. So get ready to become epic at home. Epicus, are you ready to learn some amazing science experiments? Our experts are going to show you how to do some epic science at home. You are going to need, well, a lot of things. So most of all, I'd recommend you get this. A pen and paper so you can write everything down. Are you ready to get science epic? Here we go. Hi, I'm Fran, and I'm going to show you how to make an epic tornado. Um, how? All you need are two drinks bottles, a sports bottle cap, some sticky tape, and some water with a little bit of food colouring in. My favourite. Firstly, stick the sports bottle cap upside down onto one of the bottles. Done. What's next? Then fill the other bottle with your water. Ooh, careful, Fran. Then screw one bottle onto the other. Next, you turn it upside down. The bottom bottle is full of air and that means the water has nowhere to go. We want to make the air and the water swap places. By spinning the bottles, it makes the water inside the top bottle spin out of the way. And that allows the air from the bottom bottle to spin up into the top bottle. And it's that spinning air that makes the tornado we can see. Ah, cute little tornado. Thank you, Fran, and thank you, Kel. Now, on to epic science experiment number uh, two. The key to this is a red cabbage, so if you have one going out of date, you're in luck. Hi, I'm John, and I'm going to show you a really simple test that you can do at home. How to make a pH indicator with a red cabbage. All right, John, but what is a pH indicator? A pH indicator tells us whether something is acidic or alkaline and a red cabbage contains a purple pigment called anthocyanin. This changes colour when it's in the presence of an acid or an alkali. I'm in. How do you make it? Cut half of your cabbage into small chunks. This will make it easier to blend. Put your cabbage into the blender and add enough water to cover it. Let's get blended. Mmm, lovely cabbage. The coffee filter paper would help to remove some of the sediment. Now you've got your juice, it's time to let loose. The pH scale goes from 0 to 14. Solutions with a pH of 7 are neutral. Anything above 7 is an alkaline, and anything below 7 is acidic. So, right, so first up, I'm going to try a bit of lemon juice. There we go. A reaction has occurred. It's turned red. Next up, vinegar. There we go. Vinegar's red too. Let's see what happens with the water. Not much, which might be expected. Bicarbonate of soda. It's turning blue. All-purpose cleaner. Even more blue. Some of this cream cleaner. It's like a bluey green. And that's a beautiful colour. Let's try our bleach. Yeah, don't mess with bleach without a grown-up. That's kind of gone an orangey-yellow. But what does all this mean, JC? So over here, we have our acids. Then as we move over here, we get more and more alkaline through blues, turquoise greens, and over to yellow for the bleach. And that's how to make a pH indicator using a red cabbage. Thanks, JC. Obviously, get an adult to help you chop that red cabbage. Right, this next science experiment is an absolute classic. You're probably going to need an adult for this one, too. To make a bubble eruption, you will need some hydrogen peroxide, which you can get from your local chemist, some washing up liquid, some food colouring, some yeast, and an empty bottle. Before you start, make sure you're wearing safety goggles. Goggles on. And you've got an adult with you. Dad! Let's add half a bottle of hydrogen peroxide. Then, eat a good squirt of washing up liquid. And just so we can see the mess, let's add some food colouring. And then, to make the mess, some yeast. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> nice one, Fran. That is epic. I'll definitely do that at home. But can we make it even more epic? Now, that was a pretty good bubbly eruption, but I want to make a proper mess. And for that, I need some hardcore science stuff. 
So here we've got just about the same stuff as before. We've got hydrogen peroxide. This time it's a lot stronger and definitely not stuff you should be playing with. So I'm going to add hydrogen peroxide. Then we've got our washing up liquid, some food colouring. I'm going to put a different colour in each one. Orange. Green in here. Oh. And Cyan. blue in here. Oh, close enough. Then add the potassium iodide. It does the same job as yeast, but a lot faster. So get ready for this. I'm ready. Oh, and stand back. <laughs> Whoa! Let's see that again, but slower, therefore more dramatic. So cool. And that is how you make an epic bubble eruption. It is indeed. Thanks, Fran. Here's my version of that experiment. It's not very scientific, uh, <clears throat> but it's fun, I'll tell you that. If you want an unmessy experiment, then grab a slinky and check this out. I think I've got some on my face. Hi, I'm Fran Scott, and I'm going to show you how to defy gravity. Whoa. Get a slinky and hold it up and let the rest of it unravel until it's nice and still. Now, what we're going to do is drop this slinky and the top of it will fall, but the bottom of the slinky should, for a moment, stay where it is and defy gravity. No way. Here goes. Uh, hang on. That might just look like a drop slinky. But watch again when we slow it down. Keep your eye on the bottom of the slinky. Fran releases it, but the bottom doesn't move. How do you explain that, then? When I'm holding the slinky, gravity is pulling it down, but my hand is holding it up. When I let go of the slinky, the top of it falls, but the bottom of it remains where it is, just for a little bit. And that's because it takes a while for the message that I've actually let go of the top of the slinky to reach its bottom. But when it does, the whole thing falls to the ground. There you go, gravity defied. What hasn't our epic science expert Fran touched yet? Dancing goo, like that's ever gonna happen. Hi, I'm Fran Scott, and I'm gonna show you how to make some super goo and a gooey dancing monster. Fran is a cool science demonstrator. And she knows it all when it comes to dancing goo. All you need is some corn flour, some water, and a speaker. I knew that. So take one big spoon of water and take about a spoon and a half full of corn flour. OK, with you so far, science lady. And then just mix it all up. Now, there'll come a point where this substance starts acting rather strange, and it acts like a solid and a liquid. At this point, it's a non-Newtonian fluid. A non-Newtonian what, what? A non-Newtonian fluid is a substance that can act like a solid and a liquid, depending on what you do to it. With this one, it changes from being a liquid to a solid when we apply some force. So I should be able to get a nice handful of this goo, squash it together with force, but if I stop applying force, then it turns back into a liquid. Ugh. Ugh, that's pretty freaky, Fran. But didn't you promise us a dancing goo monster? Let's see how cool this goo can be by turning it into a dancing monster. Yes! Before we do this, let's cover our speaker in cling film to make sure we don't damage it. Remember, always ask your parents' permission before you trash the stereo. Now all we need to do is put some of our goo mixture on the speaker and play some music. Turn that music up, Fran. Whoa! What's happening there? The vibrations from this beaker are making the goo move up and down and form those ridiculous shapes as it switches between being a solid and a liquid. I'd never have guessed it. Goo loves a bit of dubstep. And that is our dancing monster. Goo Ruby. <laughs> Thank you, Fran, and thank you, Kayla. We have just learned a lot of science, haven't we? MC2 equals 5 and all that. We didn't learn that. But we did learn how to make a tornado in a bottle, create bubble eruptions, defy gravity, make goo dance, and how to make a pH indicator for red cabbage. 
That is pretty epic stuff, if you ask me. So remember, the next time you're stuck at home, there's always something epic you can do. Now go forth and become epic at home.